question is, do you think Matic and Blockstack have the potential to do a 100x return in the next bull run? Um, obviously, I mean, first of all, we'll just preface that by saying investing in cryptocurrencies is risky. This is in no way shop any kind of financial advice. Uh, with that being said, though, I mean, we are very bullish on Matic Network. We are bullish on Blockstack. We think there are there are good cryptocurrencies with low caps that are good for a low cap value investor. So somebody who's looking to have exposure to low cap coins, by, but still also have a value investing approach, right? Because these, these are cryptocurrencies that we think have good fundamentals, good technology, and can perform well in the long term. Now, for the long term ratings, please go to tokenmetrics.com to view the long term ratings. Uh, but ha they have been consistently in our top 10 to top 20 uh, ratings for long term. And that isn't really going to change much. Uh, it's really just changes primarily based on the entry point from a technical analysis standpoint. But those are projects we, we are very bullish on. So if we go through here and just go through their current market cap. So Matic Network has a market cap of about 70 million. For it to do 100x, it would have to go to a $7 billion market cap. Now, even though I like Matic, I still think that's highly unlikely. Uh, but long term, anything is possible, obviously, right? Uh, but I, I would say if it, I think a 10x is more reasonable in, in about a two year time frame. But it is crypto, things do happen drastically. Uh, a $7 billion market cap, I think. Is very unlikely. I, th I think all of crypto would have to like just blow up, insanely blow up. And I, I don't think that's going to happen very fast. I think it's going to happen gradually. So maybe I would say maybe in 10 years, sure. But uh, in a few years, I mean, I think that's 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 I, I find that hard to come by. I think more of like a 10x, maybe like 30x return, possibly. Now, if we go to block stack. That has a market cap of about 50 million. If that goes to 100x, that would be a $5 billion market cap. Right, so actually I think, I think that, that is possible, $5 billion market cap. Okay, so let me just go back here and sort by market cap. Okay, so let me re reset the filters and take those filters off. So, Five billion dollar market cap. I think that that is possible, but it would really have to to blow up as well. I think if that happens, all of crypto is going up. Obviously, not not every altcoin is going to go up, but I think if crypto does a hundred x, I think it's possible. But I think I would say actually, if crypto does a ten x return, if the entire market as a whole does a ten x return, I could definitely see where Blockstack could outperform the market and get a hundred x return, uh, because Blockstack is its own blockchain and it has good technology. We're very bullish on it, but it is still unlikely in the short term. I think long term, possibly. Uh, going back to Matic, I think Blockstack has would have more potential than Matic because Matic is an infrastructure project, and historically speaking, those have not performed as well as layer one pro uh, layer one protocols. Layer two protocols typically underperform layer one protocols. So because of that, I think Blockstack would be my favorite out of those two from your question to get a 100x return. But even that is highly unlikely and, and possible, especially considering the fact that Blockstack has early institutional investors that will have their tokens unlocked. So there will be some additional selling pressure. So it will take some time for Blockstack to really uh, increase in value. But with that being said, if I had to pick between the two, I would pick Blockstack. And I think Blockstack could possibly do that. I think it would, my time frame would probably be five years or so. Uh, but that, this is all pure speculation. Obviously, I could be wrong. Uh, I'm just kind of speculating based on the information and data we have. All this could change as we get new data. Um, what's your take on this, Bill? All right, so let's go back to uh, last year and Matic Network, right? So mm -hmm. Bitcoin wasn't really doing well, and any, but, but Matic was, right? Matic was just kind of going up and up. And then all of a sudden, Matic lost half its value. Okay. The first and crash. I, right. And I was in college at the time when equities crashed in 87. And, you know, 
I was just starting in economics, but I didn't really understand what was going on. And I called my dad and I asked him if, if this meant I was going to have to like come home from college and, and not go to college because of what happened. He's like, no. So he, he assured me that that was not going to be the case, but the pain trade in Matic, just like my pain trade in my dorm room, mm -hmm. okay, was so significant, right? That frequently what can happen is if it's a good project and you have that kind of washout that leads people to give up, okay, once the move, if it restarts again, okay, it could be pretty powerful, right? Because I can tell you this much. Nobody was bullish stocks when it finally bottomed in December of 1988. Okay. I'm sorry, December of 87. You know, that, that felt like the end of the world. And that was the low. And I'm sure a lot of people who, you know, FOMO'd into Manic, Matic may have felt the same way. So pain eventually leads to joy. So Matic has had a lot of pain. Um, and, you know, on Blockstack, uh, we'll take yours and your token metric systems word for it. I mean, it's always ranked up there. So for a guy like me who doesn't necessarily understand what's underneath the hood the way you do, mm -hmm. I follow token metrics. All right. Yeah. Th thank you for that, Bill. Now, yeah, so Matic hasn't had, had really a good year this year. Last year, it had a great year. Uh, this year, it hasn't really had a good year. I believe last time I checked, it was up about 7% um year to date so it has been underperforming bitcoin but i mean they, they are launching their mainnet and they have lots of updates coming out so definitely definitely want to keep an eye on but as we like to say always be cautious i mean because they're risking everything even when something looks like a sure thing there are always risks so definitely leverage token metrics to help you with your research all right thank you for that